Hello everyone! In today's video I am going to be reviewing a little bit about these Pampers Swaddlers size 3 27 count diapers. Now you can purchase these Pampers Swaddlers diapers at any major retailer such as Walmart or Target or you can purchase it at any local pharmacy like Rite Aid and CVS and Walgreens. I know they all carry Pampers, Swaddler, Cypers. Now this is regarding the size 3 diapers in the 27 count and usually you can purchase these for around $10 a package depending on if they are on sale or whether or not there is a special running for the week that you are purchasing them. Now with these particular diapers for the size 3, they're actually meant for 16 to 28 pound children, okay? And they do have a different variety of designs um, that they do come in, but these are the number one choice of hospitals. Like for example, um, as most of you already may know, when you had your baby, the diapers that they had chose to go ahead and Put onto your baby had been the pamper swaddlers particular type of diaper I love them they are a little bit on the pricey side because on top of them being around the $10 range for the pack with the size 3 I know you got 27 and normally if you purchase like any other particular type of diaper you'll get more than 27 diapers for the package so in my eyes, they're a little bit more expensive. It's more or less about, you know, 30 cents a diaper, which is on the expensive side. Now, with these diapers, I'm going to pull one out and I'm going to show them to you. And this is regarding the barcode. I always like to include that too. The barcode for this package is 0370008633. Okay? and Pampers Best Fit and Dryness. They also make um, certain certain claims on them like Sesame Street and Sesame Beginnings and Associated Characters, Trademarks and Designs Elements are owned and licensed by Sesame Workshop. And it says on the back specifics about the diaper. It says, as I said, the number one choice of hospitals. It says Stretchy sides, it says all around stretchy sides for a comfortable fit. It says extra absorbed channels, which everyone loves, helps distribute wetness evenly for up to 12 hours of protection. It says absorb away liner, which pulls wetness and mess away from baby's skin. Swaddler's wetness indicator that's in the front and it lets you know when your baby might need a change and blanky soft wrap your baby in the comfort of our softest diaper. Now I don't know about your children but regarding my child when my child goes to urinate in this diaper okay the strip does definitely turn and it changes from yellow to blue so that's what happens regarding the diaper when the child goes pee it changes for me okay i don't know what happens regarding your child now regarding the back side for the poopness indicator regarding my child it doesn't always change okay so if your child has a poopy diaper, the only way to know is smell and visual peekaboo, take a look, okay? But that's my child, okay? I don't know about your child, but the backside of this wetness indicator, it doesn't work for me. So the backside is more or less like, hey, you have a really loaded diaper if that's changed. And what I noticed is if and when my child does have a poopy diaper, okay, if I don't change my child and find out that the child has a poopy diaper right away, what ends up happening is this backside, okay, no matter how high up I put it or how proper I put it, 
it comes out. Because what happens is, I'll sort of like try and explain it as best as I can. Your baby's butt is like that, okay? And you're putting it there, okay? And how backs work is there's the butt, and then you have like the back side of the diaper on. What happens is babies move around and like your your spine sort of like curves inward. So when baby goes poop sometimes it's like such a, like an explosion that it kind of sometimes gets out of there because there's nothing like stopping it. There's no like rubber on the inside to attach to the baby's back in any way to prevent that. So if you don't go ahead and you don't change your baby's diaper right away, these diapers, I know in particular, you'll end up having some that'll come out on the back side of your baby's bottom area. And unfortunately, you'll have a little messy. But besides that, if you catch the poopy, I mean, I haven't had any incidents with the diapers where, you know, it's been really like catastrophic, you know, as far as like the pee aspect goes of the baby. So in that aspect, it's great. I love how cottony like soft it is. And you can actually see like the little ripples and things like that. I do like the wetness indicator, you know, even though I know personally it doesn't work for me as far as, you know, the poop aspect goes, as far as finding that out, you know, as I said, visually inspecting through the side, you know, I do a little peek oh, you know, things like that, and um, as far as smell is my number one determiner, whether or not baby has a poopy diaper or not, I love the cute little baby designs, they do vary from diaper to diaper, I like how it indicates to me that it is a size 3, and then I know it's Pampers, it doesn't say Swaddlers on it, but I'm okay with that, but it looks really, really cute. On the inside of the diaper, as you can see, it does have these little ruffles. Now, when you're putting that diaper on, baby, make sure the ruffles are always being pushed out. So when you put it on, baby, these are fluffed out because this traps like that, that poop. I know regarding my baby, I did start feeding my baby solids. So baby's poop did change. Um, originally, I had you know, just been breastfeeding baby, but then I introduced solids. So once I started introducing solids, instead of it being like a, a mustardy, like watery, like mush, it ended up being more textured, having more um, like mucus and things like that in it that was more like on the lines of, you could see the solids almost like, because baby's stomach is sensitive. So not everything gets processed. Um, through like like a normal adult stomach would process food for example but as baby poop changes you know this having those ruffles fluffed out it's going to help to make sure that whatever baby goes ahead and expels it stays in the diaper and if you look there's also this inner liner too to help trap it and I like that too and that does work well you know as far as when it's on baby just make sure, most importantly, on the inner thighs, you pull those edges out to make sure that whatever is in stays in. Now, when you're also putting on the diaper, you want to make sure that you're out all the way, you know, as far as the sides go. And then once you do go ahead and bring it up, make sure these are all the way pulled out. And make sure baby's within the weight limit as far as the diaper. And make sure when you're tightening it, you know, you do use these nifty little Velcro things to attach it perfectly to baby. Now, if it seems too tight on baby or it's getting tight, guess what? That means you have to move up to number four diapers. But as far as the inner side, again, it's very soft for baby skin. You know, that's why the hospitals choose it. And it has the ripples like it claims it does. So wetness indicator, the ripples, the cute little designs. You know, everything it indicates on the back of the packaging. You know, extra absorbed channels, things like that. As I said, though, you have to watch, and it's with any diaper, you have to watch when you go ahead and you have baby and baby has a poopy, you know, you got to make sure you're getting to that problem, per se. 
you know, right away. Otherwise, it's going to be a big problem. You don't want to be out, you know, be at shopping and not have a diaper wipes and powder along the way. And then you'd be like, uh-oh, baby has a poopy diaper now. What do I do? Oh, no. And then it turns into, now the car seat's all soaked. Now baby's outfit's all bad. Now it's like, you're in such a bad predicament. You don't know what to do. And it's like, you don't want to leave baby like that either. So if you, you know, think, you know, baby has had, you know, a poopy diaper, just do yourself a favor. Check if baby does. Take care of it right away. It'll make your life, you know, happier in the long run, trust me. But, you know, if and when, you know, that does happen or an accident occurs where it's where it's everywhere and it happens, okay? Happens maybe, you know, as minimal as once every three months or once a year, but at some point in your life it's gonna happen where unfortunately it's more than the diaper can handle. But overall, it doesn't mean that the integrity of the diaper isn't, you know, great or that. It just means that that's just a simple factor of life. There's no, no way to prevent it. But I would rather with these ones to work best for my baby. If my baby has poopy diaper, change it right away. Other than that, um, as far as, you know, pee, urine goes, you know, there hasn't been any bad incidents regarding um, blowing out or that. And I have had some other diapers where... The wetness doesn't stay secure inside the diaper. With this one, it works very well. It's worth your money as far as that goes. And it's very soft. It's like one of the softest diapers out there on the market. I haven't seen personally any softer diapers at, at this point. But if I do come across any, I'll be sure and let you know. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns, drop me a comment. Uh, thanks so much for watching and participating in this Pap Pampers uh, Swaddlers size 3, 27 count diaper purchase review. Again, number one choice of United States Hospitals. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye.